Hi everyone, welcome back. Today we're gonna to be doing an intense leg and glute workout using two paper plates. If you don't have paper plates depending on your surface, you might also be able to use towels or cloths if you have a wood or tile surface, but if you have carpet, paper plates are gonna be your best bet for this workout. Other than that, you just need a yoga mat and a little bit of space and we can get started with the warm up. So we're gonna fly right through this warm up, starting with bouncing on our toes. Then the first move, we're gonna raise up, side raise, lunge back. Then switch sides up, side, lunge. Then back up on our toes, three times, back to back. Second move, we're doing a deep side lunge, placing your hands on the ground, if you need some extra support. Then back up on our toes, three times, back to back. Last move, squat jumps, fingertips touching the ground, feet in the middle when you come up, exhale. All right, three times, 15 seconds each, back to back, and we'll get right to it. Three, two, one, go.
interrupt you a shame when did we and rest grab some water and your paper plates and we'll get right to the workout so the first move we're going to do with these paper plates is going to be laying down okay we're going to be doing hamstring curls and then we are doing a glute bridge three sets so dig your heels into the plates raise the hips up extend all the way out as far as you can pull back in squeezing the hamstring okay right after we're doing glute bridges squeeze your hamstrings squeeze your glutes all right let's do it we are going to do 10 each okay 10 out and in 10 up down with a 20 second 30 second rest three two one go seconds rest only if you need to take longer please take longer but if you want to really challenge yourself you feel up for it 30 second break now your plates might get a little destroyed okay <laughs> don't reuse them for food purposes just keep them for workout tools <sighs> all right really focus on keeping your hips off the ground with for those hamstring curls try not to let your butt Touch the ground. Woo. Let's do it again. Dig those heels in. And three, two, one, go. Rest. Ooh. Take a quick rest. If you need to stretch it out, you can stretch it out like a happy baby. Your hamstrings should be feeling very tight, the back of the legs. Really squeeze your glutes when you're doing the glute bridge. We have one more set and then we're gonna stand up. It's our only lying move today. The rest will be up. All right, last one, 10 each. Let's get started, three, two, one, go. Standing up. That's the only one you really need the mat for today. So if you'd like to move it out of the way, you can. Next, we're going to be doing some lunges. So you really only need one paper plate. One foot's on the ground, the next foot sliding back. All the way down, all the way back up. Use this leg to pull you up. Then we're holding, going in and out. Okay? 
We're gonna do 10 each for the first set, then switch sides. All right, let's do it. Three, two, one, go. Switch legs and go. Rest. Woo, your legs should already be feeling that. Okay, 30 seconds rest. The sliding moves are no joke. This time we're gonna start with the leg we ended with. Eight reps each, eight lunges, eight in and outs. Stay low for the in and out. Okay, and really push the hips back to get that maximum glute stretch. Eight each, three, two, one, go. legs and go. Rest. If you want to make it extra spicy and challenging, you can hold a dumbbell here, a barbell, or two dumbbells. Okay. Why not? We're going to do it. Put these plates to work. All right. Last one. Start with the leg we ended with. We're doing eight still. We are going three, two, one, go. legs. Go.
30 seconds. Next move, side lunge slides. Okay. So start forward, you're gonna slide that leg out as wide as you can. Push the hips back, coming up. Okay. We are gonna hold in and out sideways. Okay. We're gonna do eight and then six in and out per side. If you wanna hold weight, by all means. All right, three, two, one, go. Switch sides, eight and six, go. Rest, 30 seconds. If you need some water, grab some water. We're gonna be doing that again. Starting with the side we ended with. Your legs should be feeling your glutes. Very tight, very worked. All right, start with the leg you ended with. Eight and six, three, two, one, go. Switch sides, Whew. and go. rest. Those ones should be challenging your inner thighs a lot. Okay. We have one more set. Then we're doing a move without our plates. And then we will go back to the plates. Start with the side we ended with. Eight and six again. Get low. Three, two, one, go. Last set, and go.
right. Next move. This one you can do with or without weight. We don't need the plates. We're gonna be doing squats. Okay, on our toes. If it hurts your knees too bad to do them on your toes, push through your heels. We're going down and up. Stay on those toes. Then we are holding. Right after the hold, jumping, landing on the heels, up, okay? We're gonna start with 10, 10, 10. 10 squats, 10 second hold, 10 jumps. Okay, it's the last super crazy one, I'd say. Maybe, three, two, one, go. Thirty seconds. If you want to hold weight for this next set, you can. If not, that's fine. We're gonna do it again. This time we're gonna do eight, 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 eight squats, eight hold, eight jumps. All right, going again, three, two, one, go. Had to sneak some calves in there today. One more set. We're gonna do eight, eight, and eight again. Then we have one more move with our plates or towels. And we'll call it a day. Make sure you're on your toes if you can. You can always hold on to a wall in front of you if you need to. Eight, eight, and eight. Three, two, one, go. Grab your plates. Last move. Feet are on the plates. Hands are on the ground. This is actually a little bit of a core move as well. So we're gonna slide in and out. Straight out. In, out. Right after your in, straighten. Down, up. Flat, straighten. All right. Let's do it. We're gonna do 10 each. 30 second break. Three, two, one, go. Rest. 
rest. Woo. Ah, it's leaving me speechless today, this one. Rest. If you need water, grab some water. We're gonna do the same thing again. 10, 10. Keep that core tight. Flex those quads at the top. Almost there, three, two, one, go. One more set. Oh, this is a sweaty one today. One more. Then we're done. Then we'll stretch it out. All right. Five more seconds. I'm anticipating the, the buzzer. Last one. Getting ready, three. Two, one, go. That deserves a thousand round of applauses. Whew. Grab your mat. If you don't already have it, you're gonna seriously stretch this out. That was very intense today. All right, let's start on our back. Bring one leg in, hold it to your chest, and just breathe. Your nose out through your mouth, and rock the knees side to side. We're gonna do a single leg, happy baby. So you're gonna bring this foot up, okay? Stretch as high as you can. You can keep it bent. Other leg flat on the ground. Just hold and breathe. Oh. Slowly take this leg, cross it. Grab the other leg underneath. Get a deep quad stretch. Hold. That was intense. Ooh. Those paper plates don't play. Slowly release. Lift that leg up. We're going to grab the other leg, starting with our to the chest stretch, bring it all the way in. You can you rock side to side, it's like a little hip massage. Oh. Slowly go into a single leg, happy baby. Nice hamstring stretch. We did those hamstrings early on but you should have felt very tight here. So this is a nice stretch for that. I'm glad we did those early and not at the end. Ooh, slowly down. 
take this leg, cross it over, <sighs> grab the other leg, bring it in, hold, <sighs> Ooh. not a joke. Slowly release, both legs up, happy baby. And rock side to side. Slowly down. And we're gonna sit up, spin. Oh. Little lunge stretch. All the way down, a nice hip quad stretch. If you want, you have the flexibility, you can grab and balance your back leg and hold. The deeper stretch. Switch sides. Down. Can stay here or grab next arm leg with your arm. Slowly release. You're going to stand. Get a little bit deeper of a quad stretch and hold on to something. Bring it in. Push the hip forward. Keep it nice and in line with your other leg. Make sure your legs are touching. You're not out the side or like that. There it is. Nice and tight. Switch sides. Next one. If you don't have the balance, hold on to a wall or chair or bench. Slowly release. I'm gonna reach down into a nice wide deep stretch in the middle but as low as you can push the hips back and just hold <sighs> slowly walk it in Roll it up, and we are done. Woo, that was very intense. It was challenging, so if you got through it, that is amazing because this workout was not super easy. So if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you all for the next one.